Tribunal, tension in Tinubu's camp as evidence shows Shetima not qualified to run. Oh boy. I hope this case has actually been concluded about Shetima not being qualified to run. There was a case against him from Boronu State, okay, where uh, he had two INEC forms. And INEC registered those forms and processed them. He was going for Senate. He was also going for uh, Vice President. So which one should INEC process? It would be too bad if INEC went and processed the two at the same time. It's not possible. You can't have dual applications. Okay? But let's see what happened here, the statement they have to make around, um, you know, Shetima not being qualified to run. Presidential election tribunal will kick off on the 10th, 12th, and 13th of May 2023. There is pal palpable tension in the camp of all progressive Congress, presidential and vice presidential candidate Alajibola Ahmed Tinubu and Senator Kashim Shetima, Ibrahim Shetima, respectively, as evidence shows that Shetima is not qualified to contest the election. This was deduced from two documents submitted by by Senator Shetima to the Independent National Electoral Commission certified through copies of which were obtained by Mr. Peter Gregory Obi and his party, the Labour Party. The first document dated July 4, 2022, showed one Ibrahim Kaber Masari, who was originally presented as the running mate to Tinubu, withdrawing his candidacy for Shetima. The document was, however, received and stamped by INEC on July 15, 2022. The second document dated July 5, 2022, showed Shetima, who was originally the candidate of Boronu Central Senatorial District, withdrawing his candidacy for one Lawan Kaka Shehu. The document was also received and stamped by INEC on July 15, 2022. So it could be recalled that Labour Party Peter Obi had petitioned the Presidential Election Petition Court to disqualify Shetima as he was, at the time of the election, not qualified to contest the election. The petitioners overheard that on the 14th of July 2022, Shetima, contrary to the provisions of the Electoral Act 2022, while still being senatorial candidate for Borono Central constituency, knowingly allowed himself to be nominated as a vice presidential candidate to Tinubu on the platform of APC and became the new candidate for the office of the vice president on that date, 14th July, 2022. Hmm. The petitioners relied on form EC11A signed by the Shetima and INEC officials on that same 14th of July, 2022. Okay. So the first respondent was a candidate nominated by the fourth respondent for the office of Senate in the Borono Central Senatorial Constituency until 15th July 2022, when he signed the Independent National Electoral Commission Senatorial Election Notice of Withdrawal of Candidate reporting to, um, purporting to withdraw from the contest called from EC 11C. The petitioners hereby plead and shall at the trial rely on one affidavit and personal particulars from EC9 submitted by the third respondent for Boronu Central Senatorial Constituency sworn, sworn to on 14th June 2022 and received by the first respondent on 17th June 2022. Affidavit in support or personal particulars from EC9 submitted by the third respondent for the office of the vice presidential candidate for the constituency of Nigeria, the Federal Republic of Nigeria, received by first respondent in, I mean, on 15th July, 2022. Okay. The petitioner shall contend at the trial that the purported sponsorship of the second and third respondents by the fourth respondent was rendered invalid by reason of the third respondent knowingly allowing himself to be nominated as a vice presidential candidate whilst 
was still a he was still a senatorial candidate for the Borono Central constituency. Hmm. So these are the case before the court that they're trying to you know to to resolve or unravel. Okay. Einek on the other hand said that Shetima wrote the letter of withdrawal on July 16, but okay, but that it did not receive the letter until July 13. Hence, concluded that Shetima withdrew on the on the sixth. Can you imagine? It was on the sixth of July. Reacting to the various petitions of APC and INEC, a news band analyst who spoke on condition of anonymity opined. What INEC is saying is that Shetima wrote a letter of withdrawal on July 6th, but the letter didn't get to INEC until July 13th. Uh, July 13th. Therefore, Shetima withdrew on the 6th. Does that sound logical? Hmm. APC is saying that Shetima was nominated uh, VP on the 14th of July, although INEC hadn't received his withdrawal notice yet. Therefore, they will stick to his withdrawal date as the date he wrote le the letter and not the day I neck received it. Can you imagine the technicalities that these guys are bringing into this, uh, this matter? Okay. So with all of these, it is they're not seeing whether, but I think this case was in the court and it was thrown out before. Does it mean that they resurrected this case again? Because I remember this case was in the court and it was thrown out. Yeah, it was thrown out. It was thrown out. I don't know, for lack of merit or something like that. So someone is saying here, yeah, everything about them is fraudulent. That is it. Everything about APC is fraudulent. No wonder the contestant attack on Peter Obi, APC are visibly jittery. But dealing with a man like Obi is their biggest undoing. And that is the truth. APC think... They are smart. Bam, case closed. So Tinubu kindly step down. <laughs> they will still need to debate it, man. Okay? This blogger is the most stupid person on plant, plant, planet Earth. Electing and nominating cannot be the same practice. Shetima did not contest vice presidential position. Instead, he was nominated. Okay? Does it change anything? That is true. I thought Peter Obi said he won the election. So this is how he won the election. I'll be. This person not even know the right. I'm not talking about Peter Obi here. Okay. They're talking exactly about Shetima. That's what they're saying. They're talking about Shetima. Uh, so that is what is happening here. Uh, the tendency that Shetima might be disqualified from running. But will that happen? I doubt. I doubt if that will happen. So thank you for listening. Let's have a comment.